Killer Clowns fans, welcome back. It's been a while. I know it's been quiet. Where are the clowns? What's going on with the game? I will answer that, but I have to start where we left off a few months ago. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the clowns, but we do have to mention the thing. Now, this conversation is going to tie in with clowns to some degree. I'm no longer going to cover Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's just so much going on with the game that doesn't feel right. The game is pretty, the game has great sound design, and the team at Sumo have put in a lot of work on the game. But the game wasn't tested right, balanced right, there's just so much wrong with it that it impacts the soul of the game. On top of it all, Gunn's business antics with the game, it makes it feel way worse than it should. I personally think that Texas Chainsaw Massacre was at its most fun when the perk system was practically absent from the game and everyone was on even ground. This was during the beta and was during the first week of the game's release. All the perk system does is bar new players off from the game and makes it difficult for people that don't grind the game. Thus, you're only stuck with veteran players playing the game, which is typically a small group of people. I think the stealth system is the thing they should have concentrated more on and making fluctuations with that rather than the current perk system they have, which is just all kinds of buku willy-nilly crazy. So the game just ends up with a terrible vibe, a terrible aura around it, if you will. So there's only one game left. This brings us here to this. It's all up to this man right here. His name is Randy Greenback. He's the director of Killer Clowns, and it's up to his team, TerraVision Studios. Randy, I know I just put you in the spotlight, but you know what? Everything's gonna be fine. Um, I still remember that time I was trying to talk to you on voice comms, and you couldn't hear me, and I'm trying to tell you to turn right, and you turned left down the road, and then you stopped the car, and you got everybody murdered. I'll never forget it. Run that clip. I think I put that on right. And then my driving skills are gonna be put to the test. All right, all right, laughing. I can't get in yet. Start in the car. No, you don't have to. We're out of here. We didn't even see Jason. We just started the game and left. I think there's a couple people that is the no. best. Oh, go right. Randy, hey, go awesome. right. Don't go left. Wait, ah! What did you guys want to see? Oh my God! Don't stop the car. <laughs> Two more seats, come on. Ah! Oh, oh, Randy, shit. don't stop no, the damn no. car! No. Randy! No. Jesus no. Christ! Bullshit it. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh my god. Brian, I was honking for you. And now I'm dead. They're in control right now. The ball is in their court. Randy and TerraVision are making what is probably the last anticipated and most hyped asymmetrical multiplayer horror game that people are willing to give a big chance to. This is it. If Killer Clowns fails, it will more than likely mark the end of new asymmetricals that people are willing to put their wallets, their faith, their hearts into to get the same amount of community fanfare that both Friday the 13th and Dead by Daylight received back when everybody was excited for these types of games. Now, moving on a bit, most of you know that Good Shepherd, the good doggos that used to publish for Killer Clowns, has now transferred over to Ilphonic. So Good Shepherd is now not publishing anymore. My guess being that they needed more time and more funds to work on Killer Clowns and quite possibly Good Shepherd couldn't fund the game for the extra time needed to work on it. So Ilphonic is basically picking up with that support while TerraVision, the developers, continue to work on the game. That's my guess. I'm not sure if that's actually what's going on, but that's the only thing I can think of. Now, Ilphonic has done really well with Ghostbusters, you guys. I don't play it too much. I'll pop in every now and then and play a few rounds, but I have been keeping an eye on it. They've released a ton of content for the game. They have holiday events, they have Twitch events, and they've constantly been pumping good content out. 
And so for those of you that may be worried about how much content in terms of fun cosmetics and stuff like that that we're going to get for Killer Clowns, I don't think there's going to be anything to worry about. With both Randy and Ilphonic at the helm of this, I think it'll be just fine in terms of having content. I mean, the recipe and direction and publishing for the game, if you really look into this and, and study it, it's perfect. I mean, look, you have Randy who's worked on Friday the 13th, which is a dark and scary with bits of levity type of horror game. And then Ilphonic, who's done the same and now have peaked at Ghostbusters, which is a kookier, fun family type of game. Those are the two halves for Killer Clowns. And so all of that experience wrapped up into Killer Clowns, along with actual talents from the film, you know, the Kyoto Brothers, the people that made Killer Clowns, and composer John Masari, who worked on the music for Killer Clowns, this all feels like it's gonna be something special, like it's amping up to be something special. Now, we're all exhausted trying to love these types of games. And I do believe that that special one just hasn't hit yet. It just hasn't, you know, like Friday the 13th did with so many people back in 2016 and 2017. Now, is Killer Clowns going to be that next big community game? I don't know, but all I can do is really hope that it can be. Now, Terravision has been radio silent. Ilphonic's been radio silent. They've posted interviews here and there, small blurbs and a lot of pics on their Twitter feed, but nothing in terms of a big announcement yet. Will that come soon? I don't know. I'm I'm with you guys. I'm sitting in the same seat you guys are. I'm waiting. This is why I haven't put out a Killer Clown video in a really long time. It's just because I don't have anything to talk about. But speaking of big announcements, I do have my own. I don't know if it's that big, but I am back on YouTube for live streaming. I'm currently covering Star Citizen and Killer Clowns from Outer Space on my channel. Of course, I can't live stream the game because it's not out yet, Killer Clowns. But once it is, like the old days, I'll be here playing with you guys. And I really want to make it similar to the type of fun we had back in 2016. Now... I'll do all I can, but the other half has to be in how the soul of the Killer Clowns game is presented and handed to the community, of course. If it ends up being another Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I can't be here for it. You know, you guys know that that's how I am. I'm, I'm honest with these games. If they don't feel right, then I just can't stand by it. Now, I do really wish I had more to talk about with Killer Clowns. If it's your first time here on my channel, there are other videos appearing on the screen right now that overview things we know so far. And if you go back and look back through my playlist, there are more videos that talk about the characters, theories on how the gameplay will be, and good stuff like that. When they do drop more, you know I'll be here for it. You guys know the business. Do the usual. Like, subscribe, kiss the follow button, ring the bell, lock the kids in the closet. You guys, let's cross our fingers for this one. I can't cross my fingers anymore. I've crossed my fingers so many times for so many of these projects that people have been releasing. I just can't cross my fingers anymore. They're going to break off. I'll see you all. <laughs> it's, it's tough, you guys. I know I am right in the same seat with you on this. I'll see you all in the Killer Clowns beta happening soon. I'm not sure when that is. We're all just guessing at this point, but thank you for watching. You guys, I will be here for the next Killer Clowns video as soon as they announce something. Take care, and bye-bye.